Takeover or no takeover? That has been the debate about Skybank until the chairman, Mr. Tundi Ayeni, and the chief executive, Mr. Timothy Ogotayo, led other board members to voluntarily tender their resignations. The lender's national scale was downgraded to triple B and A3 last year by global credit ratings. According to GCR, the rating was valid till June 2016. At this briefing with journalists, the central bank governor, Godwin Amefiele, explains how the lender had been at the beck and call of the CBN for liquidity. These proactive moves have become unavoidable in view of the persistent failure of Skybank PLC to meet minimum thresholds in critical prudential and adequacy ratios, which has culminated in the bank's permanent presence at the Central Bank of Nigeria lending windows. In particular, Skybank's liquidity and non-performing loans ratios have been below and above the required thresholds, respectively, for quite a while. Following the board member's resignation, the Central Bank has reconstituted a new team. Fortunately, in the overall interest of the bank, the chairman and some board members have decided to resign the appointments from the bank with immediate effect. Consequently, by virtue of the powers vested in the governor of the CBN, we have decided to reconstitute the board and management of the bank and appoint new members with the sole responsibility of ensuring the speedy restoration of the health of the bank. To this effect, the chairman of the board all other non-executive directors, the independent director, the managing director, the deputy managing director, and the two longest serving executive directors have voluntarily resigned the appointments with immediate effect. In their place, we have selected industry experts and people of high integrity who we believe can turn the bank around. In this regard, we have selected Alaji M.K. Ahmad to be the new chairman, while Mr. Tukumbo Abiru will be the new managing director. The dissolved Skybank team had informed Channels Television in January of its capacity building plans around risk management framework. We built capacity. We brought in a good number of people who have done it in other jurisdictions as well. Uh, to make sure that every segment has the appropriate risk management framework to minimize losses. There will be losses. Once we lend money, there will be losses. But what we are talking about is reasonable level of losses. Skybank had issued a profit warning in March over its 2015 financial statements, asking investors to expect a material decline. Investors are, however, still in want of this statement, which is currently estimated at about 700 billion naira loss. Temple Oshaju, Channels Television News.